We're now going to start Chapter 9, and the topic of Chapter 9 is the math of chemistry or stoichiometry. The math of chemistry involves the quantitative relationships between chemical reactants and products. You have previously learned to balance chemical equations, and using these chemical equations, you will now apply the math of stoichiometry to solve for reactants and products in the chemical reaction. Stoichiometry, again, uses the balanced chemical equation, which is basically a recipe for the reaction. The balanced equation gives you the ratio of moles, okay, these coefficients represent moles, of reactants and products that take place in the reaction. So using these and simple stoichiometry calculations, we'll be able to solve for anything in a balanced chemical equation. Stoichiometry equations and chemical equations do not show you how the reactants become products. You do not see how the bonds are broken between the reactants and then reformed in the products. But what you do see is the beginning reactants and the final products and the mathematical relationship between them. You can see that this equation tells you two moles of hydrogen, and there are your two moles of hydrogen, one, two, react with one mole of oxygen to produce two moles of water molecules. Once you have the balance to chemical equation, you now use those mole ratios to solve for moles of any reactant or product in the chemical equation. This reaction reads one mole of lead 2 nitrate reacts with two moles of potassium iodide to produce one mole of lead 2 iodide and two moles of potassium nitrate. Your two reactants, your potassium iodide down here in the flask and your lead 2 nitrate in the dropper interact and at the interface of where they interact you produce two products. This yellow precipitate is the lead 2 iodide, and then the potassium nitrate is floating around in the flask. You will not always react one entire mole of lead 2 nitrate and two moles of potassium iodide, but these mole ratios will remain constant. But you can take any amount of reactant or product and solve for any other reactant or product. So using this balanced equation, we're going to take five moles of the reactant potassium iodide, and we're going to solve for how much product we would form from that. And the product that we're going to pick this time is the lead to iodide. So if we have five moles of potassium iodide, according to the equation, two moles of potassium iodide will produce one mole of lead 2 iodide. This is called the mole ratio, and we only need the mole ratio between the two substances that we're interested in. Again, the moles of potassium iodide would cancel, leaving us with what we're interested in, the moles of lead 2 iodide. Looking at our mole ratio, which is 1 to 2, we can see that we would produce from our 5 moles of potassium iodide 2.5 moles of lead 2 iodide. We would produce half as much product. If we started our reaction with 0.1 moles of potassium iodide, we could use that 0.1 moles of potassium iodide to solve for any other substance in the equation. Let's use it to solve for how much lead 2 nitrate we need to react with 0.1 moles of potassium iodide. Our mole ratio would still have two moles of potassium iodide on the bottom. And then we look at the relationship between potassium iodide and lead 2 nitrate. We can see that one mole of lead 2 nitrate is necessary to react with two moles of our potassium iodide. So we need half as much, or 0.05, 
moles of our lead 2 nitrate to react with our 0.1 moles of potassium iodide. We're going to pick now our other reactant, lead 2 nitrate, and we're going to choose a random amount, 3 moles of lead 2 nitrate, and we can use that to solve for either how much potassium iodide is necessary to react with it, or how much product would be formed. Let's go ahead and pick the potassium nitrate product this time. 3 moles of lead 2 nitrate according to the balanced equation, 1 mole of lead 2 nitrate, and that comes from, again, the coefficients in front of the formula. 1 mole of lead 2 nitrate is required to produce 2 moles of the nitrate. Again, 2 moles of potassium nitrate. So you can see that you're going to produce twice, or 6 moles, of potassium nitrate from your 3 moles of lead 2 nitrate. 